All right, geneticists, so we're going to talk about replication. Not reproduction, they're different, so we're going to talk about replication today. All right, so by the end of this, you should be able to model the process of DNA replication. And this includes both the ideas of mitosis and meiosis. And you also want to be able to distinguish between a diploid cell and a haploid cell. And this is what we'll do first. So you need to remember that with sexual reproduction, about 50% of your DNA or your genes come from each parent. And when I say about 50%, what I actually mean is exactly 50%, spot on. Um, and most cellular organisms have are called eukaryotes. So most multicellular organisms, sorry, most multicellular organisms are eukaryotes. And eukaryote means that you have a nucleus. All right. So haploid and diploid. Before we move on, this is these is this is called a karyotype um, with a K. But these are the chromosomes that a human has. And you'll see it goes one to twenty-two, and then you've got the twenty-third, which is either an X or a Y. This one here is a male, a female, sorry, because they have two X chromosomes. There are no Y chromosomes, which is what makes you a male if you are. Now, eukaryotic organisms have two sets of DNA essentially in their cellular nuclei. So in each nucleus, there is there are two sets of DNA with the exception of something called germ cells, which we'll get into. But most of your cells have two sets of DNA. Um, oh, and so, see, so here you go. One, two, one, two, one, two. So you've got a separate copy for each one. Um, the DNA exists as chromosomes. These are long chains, a very tightly packed and coiled DNA. So offspring get one chromosome, from each parent at each number. So chromosome one, you get one from mum, one from dad. Chromosome two, one from mum, one from dad, all the way down to chromosome X, which if you're a female, you get one from mum, one from dad. And if you're a male, you get one X chromosome from mum only and one Y chromosome from dad only. Um, and this is what a chromosome looks like in either of these two stages. These ones here you'll see are, well, these ones here, not that. They are two separate, you'll see they're not joined. So that is a chromosome, that is a chromosome, sorry, that is one chromosome, and that is one chromosome. This is during, sorry, this is after replication before it splits. We'll see this in a second. This is before, this is after replication, and this is before replication. So you have the chromatid, which is the arm, and the centromere in the middle, and together they make up a chromosome. Now, germ cells are essentially sex cells, so eggs and sperm, and they are what we call haploid. They combine together create a new offspring. Now, a haploid cell has one copy of each chromosome. They are 1N. In other words, N is a full set of chromosomes. This here is from something which is 2N, because you see you have two full sets. So somatic cells are your body cells of the organism, so that's pretty much all the rest of your cells, and they're all diploid, which means they have two sets of each chromosome. They are 2N. So this here, um, both of these are actually 1N at this stage because we don't have any pairs. That's 2N, 2N, 2N. All right, so here are your germ cells, sperm and egg, and here are your somatic cells, everything else. All right, cell replication. So basically cells replicate for two purposes. One is growth and repair. That's one sort of purpose, and that's mitosis. And the other one is reproduction of a new organism. So replicate to reproduce, and that's meiosis. So mitosis occurs in the somatic cells, and they produce new and genetically identical daughter cells. Meiosis occurs in the germ cells, and they produce new and genetically different haploid, so 1N, daughter cells. And this is where our genetic diversity comes from. Now, here we have mitosis and meiosis. So ignore this side for a second. So mitosis, which is for... Uh, replication, sorry, repro uh, growth and replication, uh, growth and repair. You have your parent cell, so we've got two ends. So we've got this is chromosome one, that's chromosome two, and you've got two copies of this and two copies of that. And here we go through this prophase where they bind around the centromere, and a second chromosome, sorry, a second chromatid is produced. It's still two n. Here they align at the plate. And as they align at the plate, these long fibers come out from something that looks like a spindle and pulls them apart. So it separates these, so these, this homologous pairs they're called, these homologous pairs, it separates them out until you've got one here which is 2N and another one here which is 2N. And they are identical. 
Um, over here, we've got meiosis. So, one, they replicate. They replicate and then they hang out together, they push together, and this thing called cro uh, crossing over happens. That's where variation occurs. Okay? So, this is why you get mix ups of DNA. So, anyway. So, then, so that's profits. So that, they replicate, so you go from one here to two of them, and you can see that it is still 2N. Um, here it's 2N, they're about to be split apart, and then they get separated. So they're now separated into two, um, two separate cells. And here it is haploid. Okay, it is haploid. This then goes through another set of divisions, no more um, duplication, and it gets split into your separate ones. So that's while well, that's one chromosome. Okay, remember that. So if we go back here, one chromosome, but also one chromosome. This is a duplicated chromosome, a replicated chromosome, but still one chromosome. And here, still one chromosome, still one chromosome, and it splits apart into another set of cells. So you get four haploid cells. Here you get two diploid cells. Four haploid, two diploid. So we can summarize that. So mitosis, they both involve cell division. The chromosomes only replicate once. Mitosis occurs in somatic cells, has two daughter cells, cells divide once. The parent cells similar to the daughter cells and there's no crossing over. Over here in meiosis we have in the testes of the ovary, okay, you get four daughter cells. The cells divide twice, they still only replicate once. Parent cell is different from daughter cells and they have crossing over. And that's uh, mitosis and meiosis. We're going to go over that in some detail in class. And I'll see you there.